Hello, Chip here from 5th Edition Visions, and I am making a short video about the White Flyers in Aether Revolt to prepare you and moreover myself for the Aether Revolt pre-release that's coming up in a couple of days. I make these videos, um, I'm young at it, I'm new at it, I'm really not a great Magic the Gathering player, but I enjoy the game, I enjoy looking at the cards, and I enjoy knowing ahead of time uh, what, what groups uh, these cards can be kind of classified under outside of just the colors, so which is why I did a video on the Flyers, and I'm doing the... Uh, I did a bit, I'm doing a video on the flyers and I did a video on one drops and I just like to do this for myself. I hope it's beneficial to you. So let's take a look at the flyers in white in Aether Revolt. Up first is Gerper Osprey, one white, uh, two generic, flying, two, two. You'll see variations of this card um, in lots of different sets. Um, great little flyer. You can get him out there, get over the board. It's fantastic. You need to have flyers in your deck at the pre-release. If you don't have them, you better have something else up your sleeve to be able to, uh, to outmaneuver your opponent. So this is if you're in white and you have this, you drop this guy in there right away. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. We have Arianaut Admiral, one white, three generic, flying. And this guy, this guy gives your vehicles flying. I'm not sure how I feel about that. There's that big, uh, that big boat guy, 7-Eleven, uh, Consulate Dreadnought for one, but it takes six to crew. You can make that thing fly. It would be fantastic. Um, three damage is good if you can get in for a little bit here and then later in the game. And if you can, you know, make him make those vehicles fly, you know, more power to you. So that's our, our other white card that flies. All right, Dawn Feather Eagle, one white, four generic bird. Flying, when Dawn Feather Eagle enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. So it's kind of like a combat trick and a creature, although combat tricks actually go during the main, the, the combat phase. But anyway, so you would have your creatures, hopefully you're going wide, give them all plus one, plus one, vigilance, so you don't need to worry about the counterattack when your opponent uh, has their turn. Um, it could be great for you. So it's common, you'll see a lot of them. Run it if you need it at the top of your curve. Okay, next, airdrop, Arianauts, two white, three generic, flying, revolt. Uh, so if you have the deck that's going to be revolting and making those permanents flicker or disappear or bounce back to your hand, um, you can get five life um, when it enters the battlefield. Four, four, three, fly, or dwarf scout. Um, okay, cool. So if you think you can pull that off, you think that revolt's going to uh, help you out with that expensive cost, uh, go for it. But last, this is the real bomb of the White Flyers. This is fun, and I like green-white angels and modern, so we'll see if this gets there. Uh, two white, five generic, angel flying, five-five flyer. If you would lose the game, instead, exile exquisite archangel, and your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. That's fantastic. Um, that's a lot of fun. I love cards that do that, those kind of shenanigans. No one's going to want to kill it uh, because you'll get to your life total back, so they're going to have to deal with it some way because it'll be presumably beating them down. Um, it's a bomb if you open it, play it, and keep it around for your modern deck. Well, that's it. That's all we got. All I got. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Have fun at the Aether Vault pre-release, and watch out for those white flying creatures. Bye-bye.